Why does this read like a chubby emu video? A school adopted a woke kindergarten program. Here's what happened to test scores. We're following AT reporting to the ER with a, you know, doesn't it? A little bit. I want to I want to know what happened to the test scores. Glassbrook Elementary School, which has been struggling with pretty abysmal test scores and low student attendance, has been spending a whopping quarter million dollars in federal money on an organization called Woke Kindergarten. I gotta say, right off the bat, really don't like the name of that organization. Uh, sounds like a joke. Woke Kindergarten, huh? It is a for-profit organization, and yes, that is literally the name yeah. of that organization, Woke Kindergarten. So the point of this program is apparently to train teachers to confront white supremacy, disrupt racism and oppression, and remove those barriers to learning. Right. Has nothing to do with reading, has nothing to do with math, it has nothing to do with improving the abysmal test scores that the school set out to improve. Now. An argument in favor of woke kindergarten, right? The solution is, or the solution to- This has to be a psyop. It definitely feels like a psyop. I like, I'm, I'm kind of curious. If I Google woke kindergarten, will I actually get an organization or is it just gonna bring up a bunch of Fox News articles? www.wokekindergarten.org, a global abolitionist early childhood ecosystem and visionary creative portal. Is this not a psyop? Please tell me. So you made it to a protest, a sensory guide for kids. What? What does that mean? Oh, it's not a link. I thought it was a link. Play, black child. <laughs> is that... Is that a command? What? <laughs> They're doing, like, pinups with different hair textures. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I'm probably gonna end up agreeing with Anna Kasparian completely. Shit, the, the people who run these projects are either ideologues who are so delusional that they have no idea how harmful what they're doing is, or they're extremely cynical reactionaries who are making a bunch of money off of exploiting uh, gullible, uh, you know, grants, uh, contractor uh, hiring processes, that kind of stuff, you know? Any word on the people behind it? What you mean? <laughs> Lil Comrade Convos, huh? That's it? It's just this one page with no, okay. This? Lil Comrade Convos, power. And then it's just this image. So that link is just this image. Is this not a bit? Woke word of the day. Ceasefire. <laughs> Dude, this has to be a grift. Educating my kindergarten class on the uh, Israel-Palestine Israel conflict. Oh my god. Manifestacion. Para demonstrar que no estamos de acuerdo con algo y tomar acción para combatirlo. The abolished definition to get rid of something forever. This is very helpful and educational. But I, guys, I don't know. I think I'm going to end up agreeing with everything Anna Kasparian has to say. Like, how could I not? Poor performing schools, advocates say, is for educators to confront legacies of racism and bias in schools and to talk about historic white supremacy so that students feel safe and supported. This is from Jill Tucker, San Francisco Chronicle, apparently. Now, remember, we're talking about an elementary school. And even though the program is called Woke Kindergarten, it would apply to all of the students in this elementary school. And uh, abolition apparently makes an appearance in this realm as well. Woke Kindergarten, aimed at elementary age students, is founded on the relatively new concept of abolitionist education, which advocates for abolition or a kind of starting over, said Zeus Leonardo, U.S. Berkeley or UC Berkeley education professor. UC Berkeley showing up again in exactly the way you would expect them to. That's nice. Um, yeah, I, I like this is this stuff is a massive grift, obviously, even if it's being done sincerely, which I kind of doubt. Like, that website is so underdeveloped, it makes me think that they're just taking the money and running. But yeah, I, I think that, like, defending programs like this should basically ruin your career. I'm sorry. If you, if you unironically think, like, yeah, dude, this is, this is how we're gonna fix the school system. We need this, like, look, look at this terrible website, okay? We need to explain wokeness and anti-racism to kindergartners. It's, it's bullshit. It's so stupid. It's all literally just one person who apparently got like a quarter million or something. Yes, sir. And the idea is that certain things can't be reformed, tweaked or shif shifted because.
Akaya K. Gross, they, them, is an abolitionist, early educator, cultural... Wait, let me, sorry, I could have I could have sounded more right-wing there, my apologies. Akaya K. Gross, they, them, we know, is an, er is an abolitionist, early educator, cultural organizer, and creator currently innovating ways to resist, heal, liberate, and create with her pedagogy, woke kindergarten. So it's just one per... It's literally just one person. Well, I hope I hope they're enjoying the money they got. What you mean... Are these the Snapchat face emojis? What you mean I can support my students' emotional safety in a pandemic? What you mean I can engage kids in experiential learning virtually? Consultation. Request a consultation, which is the broken at the moment, apparently. Mutual aid shop. It's posters. Sticker pack. Our world poster. A, B, no C poster. Graphic design is, and I must stress this, my passion. That's cool. I love buying products from somebody, but paying them directly over Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal, and not for the product listed. Look at this. This is, th she's, they, sorry, castigate me, woke mob. This is literally tax avoidance. This is, this is a crime. Use discount code Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal, which will make your total amount zero dollars. You're only paying USPS shipping on the website. Then send money for the poster via the payment platform you chose. Do not choose goods and services. This is this is tax avoidance. That's not true. They could theoretically still claim it on their taxes. Yeah, but wake up. Why else would they do this? They, 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 they send it as like a personal payment so it doesn't get automatically filed uh, in the uh, PayPal 1099. This is just like open tax fraud. Like at least do it quietly like I and every other YouTuber does. No, like what, what the f this is something they would do on It's Always Sunny, yeah. It could also be they don't want to give refunds. Nope, you can you can prevent refunds uh, 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 through plenty of ways. This is just clearly, this is just like, this is the equivalent of paying someone in cash. There's no IRS and L LGBTQ. Shit, that's right. 20% of all orders go to mutual aid efforts and the rest help sustain woke kindergarten. Okay. They are inherently problematic or oppressive. It's not about indoctrinating or imposing- Maybe they're lowering the price to make it more accessible for poor people. It is a $25 poster. And no, they're just getting out of paying taxes. That's it. That's that's all. I, it's, uh, guys, th this isn't like a speculative thing. They're just admitting to tax fraud. They're literally saying, go through the shop website so that you can handle the shipping and the payment and all that. But for the actual payment, give it to me directly and specifically select the kind of payment that doesn't make me pay taxes. Like, there's no way around that. It's unambiguously uh, an attempt to get around taxes. Using politics, but making politics part of the framework of teaching, Leonardo said. Uh, let me be clear. It is absolutely about indoctrinating and imposing politics. So, for instance, um, I'll give you some examples of the course material. The Curriculum shared with schools includes so-called wonderings, which pose questions for students, including if the United States defunded the Israeli military, how could this money be used to rebuild Palestine? I love asking kindergartners this question. That seems politically motivated, no? And we're talking about elementary school kids. What are we doing? In addition, the woke word of the day, including strike, ceasefire, and protest, offers students a language of resistance to introduce children to a uh, liberatory voc vocabulary in a way that they can easily digest, understand, and most importantly, use in their critiques of the system. Teacher Tiger Craven Neely found the woke kindergarten training confusing and rigid. He said, he was told a primary objective was to disrupt whiteness in the school and that the sessions were not a place to express white guilt. He said he questioned a trainer who used the phrasing so-called United States, as well as lessons available to the organization's website offering little comrade convos or positing a world without police, money, or landlords. The so-called United States is, if that is its real name, that's really funny. Man, I stuff like this bothers me because obviously grift markets like this do give the right wing a lot of ammunition and it does us no favors at all. You know, it, it, it it's it's pretty like unambiguously bad uh, morally. At the same time, it's also incredibly funny. So it's impossible to know whether or not it's good or bad, it, it, you know, holistically uh, altogether. Yeah, it's so bad that I still don't know if it's deliberately a grift or, yeah, I have no idea. Insane. But why focus on this? Because I, I, I don't think that we should... Well, first of all, it's funny. 
And second of all, I don't think it's to our benefit to pretend stuff like this isn't an issue in the times that it does happen, because I know there are probably a bunch of dumb Twitter leftists who would look at this and go, uh, isn't this good? Isn't it good to have these conversations with young people? You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it gives it gives me the feeling. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, opposing stuff like this is worthwhile. Also, it's funny. That part's also very important. That's the exact argument that made Anna against birthing person, just FYI. Incomparable. Anna's rhetoric was incoherent and anti-trans. I'm just pointing out a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not adopting a new position or any reactionary rhetoric. I mean, it must be enough of an issue that like contractors spent, or sorry, schools spent money on this contractor, you know? The kids can't read. They can't read. Okay. They can't, they can't read. And now we're pitting like students of color against white students. Oh, wow. It sounds like a really great educational experience. I, this is not the framing that I would have gone with. I don't think it's really, a, that, like, that's not the, okay. But um, does the program actually work? That's really the question here. Well, two years into the three-year contract with Woke Kindergarten, student achievement at three year has contract, fallen, prompting some teachers to question whether the money, again, $250,000, was well spent given the needs of the students who are predominantly low income. Two-thirds of the students are English learners, meaning English as a second language, and more than 80% are Hispanic or Latino. And I mean... That, that feel when my parents illegally immigrate to America to give me a better life uh, I'm strugg struggling to learn English. I join a school and it's like a uh, hype. I'm learning like the definition of ceasefire in my second grade class instead of English lessons. God damn it. Oh my God. What what was the name of the school? Uh, Glassbrook. Who approved the decision though? It probably wasn't the teachers, right? It was probably somewhere here. There are, there are reactionary news articles about this. Who approved the spending? Hayward Unified School District Superintendent Jason Ryman told the Chronicle that hiring Woke Kindergarten, which he said was supported by the parents and teachers after it was approved by the board, was more about boosting attendance than test scores. He said attendance has gone up almost 20%. Okay, that's another element to it, admittedly. Making people feel included can help them actually show up for class. Though, if it's leading to lower scores, that's probably not good. Though the scores could also be lower because people are actually showing up for the tests. Still, I'm not in favor of this, but that's that's something, I guess. Is this the inside of a classroom of theirs? It can't be. No, I don't think it is. That looks way too nice to be the inside of a kindergarten or whatever. Craven Neely, who said he supports discussing racism in the classroom, said his request for clarifications got him temporarily banned from training sessions. Uh. What is that? <laughs> Tiger Craven Neely, another teacher at the school, told the Chronicle that woke kindergarten trainers told him he should focus on disrupting whiteness in the classroom. What does that mean, he said to the Chronicle. I just want to know, what does that mean for a third grade classroom? Craven Neely, who said he supports discussing race in the classroom, said his request for clarifications got him temporarily banned from training sessions. <sighs> uh... An email to woke kindergarten received an automatic reply that the founder was recovering from surgery. Or Hispanic or Latino. And I mean, there's more disastrous results from this program, but remember, this is federal money. This is federal taxpayer money that is being used by this public elementary school to allegedly improve the test scores of these students. And the opposite has happened because it's not about improving the test scores of the students. It's about injecting a political ideology into an elementary school to the detriment of the educational experience of these students. This is okay, Anna, respectfully, this is a really dumb perspective, okay? Um, it's far more likely that uh, in an in an underperforming school district, uh, 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 you know, the superintendent, who is probably a f moron, uh, had this idea pitched to him that racism is an issue and it's disrupting class participation and it's making people less likely to want to join. So they they were like, oh, what do we do? And this got pitched to them. Dude, people in power get pitched and spend a lot of money on horrible f consultancies all the time they do it in public or private spaces you know i like it, desperately throwing your money at some like you know razzle dazzle effort to come in and fix all your problems some monorail salesman kind of type uh you know that's not new obviously there's a political element to that because apparently the school was almost entirely full of poc kids so maybe they thought like racism was an issue but it's not like I really don't think this is a product of like a sinister effort to wokeify the kids at the expense of their education. I think that's a very reactionary take. I think that we're looking something 
at least on the administration side, that is more the product of incompetence and stupidity than it is malice or like, you know, indoctrination efforts. Yeah, this is some Hyperloop salesman bullshit. Now, now the actual woke kindergarten people might be naked grifters. It's hard to say. I'm going to get to the actual scores in a second because uh, I think they're very relevant here, as you'll see. Uh, but look, guys, there's parts of the program that I agree with on Israel-Palestine, on worker power and in, in you know empowering uh, labor in this country, et cetera. And if the entire agenda was something that I agreed with, would I be in favor of this? No, I still wouldn't be in favor of it. Because think about it, guys, you inject this much politics into uh, the yeah, framing this just as injecting politics as opposed to contractor grift harming the lives of young students is a pretty reactionary framing. I don't know why they're going at it from this angle. Like, why? You know? It, they're, like, they're getting scammed. This is, this is not, like, indicative of a broader left effort to sacrifice the educational attainment of young students. That's just, that's not really the nature of what's happening here. Curriculum. And if we say, okay, Israel's occupation is wrong and we should help Palestinians, what's going to stop 98% of other school districts from saying the Palestinians are the worst and you're not allowed to criticize Israel and Israel is a heavenly and their what occupation are we talking is beautiful. About? Right, nothing. Because once you start doing politics in the in the classroom there's there's always politics in the classroom there's no come on this is just this is like five iq gop talking point shit okay there's always politics in the classroom even in the most minor subtle ways when we teach history what we decide to teach how we decide to teach it when we have talks about classroom inclusivity okay like if if there's a class where most of the people are white and a uh there's like a black girl comes in in like second grade and people are like making comments about her having like frizzy hair or whatever what's the term like kinky curly i don't know like big poofy hair or whatever and like the teacher telling them to cut that shit out that's a political conversation because there's a racial under like at the very least like undertext if not uh like just text to the nature of that engagement there's always 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 politics so like wh why talk about this like why focus on that element of this like brazen over the top politics on political then there's no did you know white people actually do that by the way that's a real thing that white people if they like haven't really met many black people will literally see some bitch with an afro and be like oh my god can i touch your hair that's a real thing i don't when i was growing up i thought that wasn't a thing because i grew up in la and there's lots of black and brown people there so there like there aren't very many white people in la who grow up not having seen a black person and then they see one for the first time at 16 or whatever that's a real thing yeah my entire school did that to me. I'm sorry, Royal Rose. Yeah, it's very, very, very strange. I wonder if it also didn't happen much around me because a lot of the white people in the area that I grew up in had Jufros, you know? So there was, it was like they were inoculated against the the siren song of the curly hair that draws light-skinned people towards uh, darker-skinned people, you know? Like a, like a hypnosis. The founder has TikTok videos, apparently. Oh, dear. Yes, everyone, the rumors are true. I am anti-Israel. I am pro-Palestine, and I am 100% 10 toes down anti-Israel. I believe Israel has no right to exist. I believe the United States has no right to exist. I Guys, I think this might not be a grift. I think this person might just be kind of crazy. I think this might be one of those so lost in the sauce <laughs> that they, um, you know, they might be a true believer. I believe every settler colony who has committed genocide against native peoples, against indigenous people, has no right to exist. I believe in a free Palestine from the river to the sea. I believe one day Palestine will be free. Guys, I have some advice for you if you ever want to have a future in um, any kind of professional field while also being a leftist. Be exactly like this person because apparently that gets you a quarter million in contract funding. That's the end of my advice. Is this news to anybody? White supremacy. Because this is the nature of this dynamic, which is you have gullible but well-meaning, somewhat progressive white people, like say, for example, the head, the superintendent of a school district, and they, they're like, why don't our POC students show up for class? And then this video, people like this individual right here are like, uh, catnip to cats for them. This shit is like a ray of light. 
They're thinking, we have issues with racial integration in our school. This person must be the solution. Look at how woke this person is. This person knows their shit. They're like distilled woke, you know? It's it's like the ultimate, like, this is like the, the mercy from Overwatch descending from the light, you know? Holy f they really are just Twitter poisoned? Well, yeah, many such cases. I believe one day Palestine will be free. Is this news to anybody? White supremacy destroys for the sake of destruction. Abolition destroys. I'm not here to debunk their talking points, by the way, but you might notice how they're not saying anything. <laughs> destroys for the sake of creation. We are not the same. I have an unwavering respect for children, an unwavering love and care and compassion for children, a commitment to children and to their freedom, to their learning to their lives, to sustaining their lives. Y'all are the demons. Y'all are the villains. We've been trying to end y'all, get Ooh. free of y'all. They might be mentally unwell. Is this like, is this is on the official account too, Woke Kindergarten. This is on the business account. Is this th this person might be a little bit unwell. I don't know. This person, I get, I, uh, they talk like the Black Hammer cult people. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You also call people demons. I, I do, that is true, though I tend to structure my argument. First of all, I don't try to run a consultancy business to educate children and teach teachers. If I did, I would probably speak a little differently. Second of all, I don't normally just like segue into a ramble. Doesn't this sound like the kind of insane schizophrenic rambling that we've heard from like Kanye West, right? Where they just sort of talk about their positions. Like, you know, I believe this, I believe that, you people are demons. There's not really any structure to it. It just feels like they're addressing the the common enemy, which that, 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 it's not a 100% thing. I'm just, you know, there's a correlation to being like this and being fucking crazy. When I think crazy. about a world free of state violence, free of war, free of genocide, I think about a world free of the U.S. empire. I think about a world free of Israel. I think about a world free of every occupier that's- It's just, it's just America and Israel. So deliberately performative too. Yeah, this person, this person might actually be kind of Black Hammer aligned. I wonder what their positions are in Ukraine. Anyway. To it. And guess what? The left's not gonna win that battle. The right's gonna win that battle. And when they inject politics and they try to take like mentions of slavery out of uh, the textbooks or they, do anti LGBTQ uh, provisions, et cetera, we rightly get really mad about it. So it's really important that we not be hypocritical and then go. This is really f stupid. Jenk uh, uh, is basically saying you shouldn't do like pro queer political stuff in schools because then that means that the right would do anti queer political stuff, you know, something they haven't been doing already. What does that even mean? What well, you guys, you don't want to get political in classrooms or you might get stuff like, I don't know, Republican governors restricting uh, acceptable topic lists and opening up teachers to lawsuits if they discuss any issues related to gender or sexuality. You know, you wouldn't want that. Don't. Don't do a thing because the right might do the bad thing they've been doing for years. Stupid f argument. Why, TYT, you're being given a layup here, okay? You're, 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 this is, you, you've got like a T-ball that's up in a, a pole, okay? Oh, I don't like it when they do it, but we should do it. No, no, that makes no sense. See, like, it like, what, what does that even mean? Like, assuming we were talking about a sane consultancy group and not woke kindergarten or whatever, what is this? You shouldn't have political... Uh, progressive messaging in school, like what? Because it's not politics. They said it's not politics. What, what do you mean it's not politics? I swear to God, they've made arguments against this before. Even if you cre agreed with the political ideology that's being presented, but for the, but by the way, on a majority of what they teach, I don't agree with it anyway. So, so let me be clear: this whole idea of disrupting whiteness. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's racist. Yeah. It's okay. racist, everyone. Let's let's keep it real. It's racist and it's pitting students of color against the white students in an elementary school. So guys, let me give you- It's so dumb. It's so, so dumb. Obviously teach about, you know, the civil rights era, what happened during Jim Crow. Obviously those are important teachings, but- The decision to teach those is also politically motivated. There's, 
in in the in the grand cosmic scale of the universe there is like no objective reason that those subjects should be taught over any number of other things from the 60s or 70s or whatever you could just not teach those elements of history the reason we teach them is because we think it's important to instill uh, the importance and recency of anti-racist activism in the united states that is a political decision you know you could say the same with the with the black lives matter movement i mean that mostly kicked off four years ago that is history now to an extent like it's just why why focus on this element of things why not focus on the grifty or the ineffective nonsense but this this curriculum that's meant to like demonize white kids in an elementary school is so awful and i don't i can't believe anyone would think this is a good idea so guys let me give you a, a non-white perspective so did they did they, did we even see anything that was demonizing white people i saw stuff like we need to center conversations on race and challenge white supremacy when did they say anything about demonizing white? maybe they did I, I wouldn't put it past that person maybe they did but like i didn't see it and they haven't mentioned it so this is just i feel like i'm watching a right-wing video yeah, but Benjamin, I'm doing that without being stupid about it. I, I'm Middle Eastern. My wife is Asian. Our kids are are not white uh, under any definition. Okay, and and so we talk about that at, at home. But if they were taught in their schools to disrupt whiteness, I would say to them, no, don't, don't. I don't. A, I don't know what the hell that means. How are you going to disrupt someone being white? Or dude, are you kidding? Come on, I think this is stupid bullshit, but disrupt whiteness doesn't mean disrupt. Do you really not know the difference between white people and whiteness in like, this is like 101 sociology. If you consider yourself a progressive or even like a remotely liberal commentator, not understanding this distinction by now after having done politics for like 15 years is insane. That's insane. That's that's genuinely crazy. Okay, you can disagree with everything. Like I have, it's not like I'm defending woke kindergarten. But why add on the ridiculous right wing talking points? Why like look at that and then go like, oh yeah, well in addition to that, disrupt whiteness means disrupt white people. What the f does that even mean? What does that mean? Uh, insane. What can they not take a dub? Like can they not? Can they not? I didn't want to make this about them. Is there potential good from teaching the whiteness definition to kids early on? Uh, no. It, this is this is another one of those academic definitions that should really be kept to people who could understand it. Um, just say that you your class your class opposes racism in all forms. Smiley face. Keep it keep that shit simple. You're talking to kids, you know. Again, I'm not agreeing with the curriculum of woke kindergarten. I'm saying that. The claim that oppose whiteness and oppose white people are the same is just factually wrong. Right wing talking point. Do you support a less batshit crazy version of the idea of a woke kindergarten? I think that, especially in the modern day, it is more important than ever to have conversations about inclusivity and anti-racism. I think that these should be framed in a non-combative and inclusive manner. I don't think it should be about challenging anything because these kids don't even know the systems well enough to understand what they're challenging you know uh instead i think it should be more about you know um basic stuff keep that keep this shit like mlk toned right you know um uh, our our country has long struggled with inclusivity. Not everyone has been treated the same, but what we care about now is making sure everyone is treated the same so we can all live the best lives we can. That should be the bedrock. More complicated stuff like challenging institutional bias. They're kids, man. We're talking about like second or third graders here. We're and we're talking about abstracts too, unlike stuff like earth sciences or even mathematics where you can demonstrate and falsify certain points. You can point to a rock and say, that's igneous, you know? You can run with that. But social talk, that's very abstract. Their brains aren't fully developed. You should leave that for high school, I think. Uh, and I'm fully supportive of sociology classes in high school to talk about stuff like this. But for young people, you know, the program is bad no matter what, Alan GM. But for high schoolers, obviously, high schoolers can deal with a much, you know, a, a, a much greater level of nuance and complexity. So basically, Mr. Rogers and Sesame Street, a little, a little more than that, I think, depending on the age level. I mean, kindergartners are what, six, right? And elementary school goes up until um, fifth grade. 
and then middle school is sixth, seventh, and eighth, and then high school. But a lot of elementary schools includes middle schools, I think. I don't know. Obviously, tailor it to the goddamn like b level of brain development. Yes, pragma so uh, socialist. All right. Well, let's w let's finish this video of TYT f up an easy uh, easy pitch. Acting white. What does acting white mean? And why are you getting my kids? What does acting white mean? Dank, as an expert in the subject, I can tell you that. I, 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 would, I would go so far as to say that my entire uh, channel is in fact uh, uh, an instructive lesson on how to act white. To not like white people. What? Uh, look, if you want to fight racism against- where, where is any of this coming from? Where, like, is that, was that a part of the curriculum? This is just, I'm watching Fox News right now. What are we talking about? Asians, Middle Easterners, Blacks, Latinos, I'm a billion percent on your side. But if we're going to pit the races against one another, that's not- well, Again, like, yeah, gas leak politics. I, I do, they're literally doing the CNN thing where like upcoming election time, it's try. Man, I just had a talk with Kyle Kalinske about getting along with people, but Kyle, 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 you're so good at avoiding drama. What am I supposed to do, Kyle? This video was linked to me. This is really bad, Kyle. You would never accept these talking points. Kyle, what do I do? Fighting racism, that's perpetuating racism. 100%. And I don't want my kids to be indoctrinated into that, that's nuts at an elementary school level. You know, I've never met a person define indoctrinated as opposed to teaching. Let alone any level. When they get to a higher level, then you can have good, important, relevant conversations about race, racism, the history of racism in this country, the history of civil rights, et cetera. That okay, is so wait, does he not even want race or civil rights to be discussed in an elementary school setting? I don't know, I don't know critical do not let the right wing take that away that is core part of american history but to tell <laughs> elementary school kids that they have to go disrupt whiteness is just lunacy and then let alone this whole a world without police money or landlords guys i'm sorry but like god willing one of these days comrades this idea like this idea of a world without money I mean, that's so preposterous. Like, that's this is the level of your analysis here. Just the liberal sneering at the con. Like, what? Seriously? That this is this is what you have to say in response to that world without money. That's crazy. Like, okay. Talk Ignorant. to your nephew. That's actually what money is is a tool that allows you to do trading. So, what are we going to take money away? And then I got to grow tomatoes and cucumbers in my backyard and trade it for. Hogs and clothing? What is this? Seasoned political expert. Seasoned, um, you know, 20 year veteran of discourse. This, this is insanity. So <laughs> remember, remember, they spent $250,000 in president. federal money on this program. So who knows? Maybe we're wrong, Jank. Maybe their test scores did improve by learning to disrupt whiteness when in reality they need to learn math and, and reading. Well, here's what the results were. English and math scores hit new lows last spring. Get a load of this with less than 4% of students proficient in math and just Yikes. under 12% at grade level in English. They're literally learning nothing. They're learning nothing. The results are worse. They're no, worse. A and not just worse, guys. Four percentage points in each category. No. This is really sad to see like a 90 year old pianist not being able to play anymore because of dementia. That's on point. Thank you, uh, Chase Watkins, uh, for 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 continuing to type that out even as your keyboard caught a flame. Thank you. Isn't it possible the scores are worse because of systemic poverty? Well, I get the argument is that the money went to the wrong place, which it definitely did. Uh, yeah, that that proficiency level is abysmal. It seems like, given the fact that it only declined by four percent year over year, and it was that bad beforehand, that this this is like a broader issue. Obviously, not one specific to woke kindergarten. So it's mostly just a matter of it being a waste of money. What are we doing? Not only is it worse, Anna, only 4% of them are proficient in math. It's uh -huh. insane. 96% don't know how to do math. Me either. And they're teaching them to get rid of money and landlords N <sighs> and disrupt white people. The white, what? the, the chain, come on, man. Bunch of lunatics. No, Listen. it's just get rid of the program entirely. It's nothing but a dumpster fire and 
And we're not in the camp of, okay, just math and English and don't teach them anything about literature or anything. No, teach them actual courses. And yes, later in junior high, high school, by all means, literature. And and I, I, look, I got taught philosophy in high school, in a public high school, and it made me a much better person for it. But that was actual things that we were learning, mm -hmm. not trash about disrupting people based on race and how we're gonna live in a dream world with unicorns and and but we don't need math or English. No, you definitely need math and English. Finally, I wanna give you an example of what, what is this for me? I don't know, I, I have no idea. Again, it's such a layup. There's so much that you can say about this. It's so, I, I, I don't know. It, Dr. Seuss in high school, no sooner. You actually could put this in Fox News and fit perfectly. Yeah, no, literally without exaggeration, nothing has been said that wouldn't run fine. It's just a standard like low IQ daytime Fox News channel segment. Like not, literally not a single thing has been said that would challenge that. You even have the performative, you know, I'm not against talking about the history of racism in this country. I just think this has gone too far with like, again, I still disagree with the woke kindergarten thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of taking the nuanced position here that, you know, you can have a bad thing and also bad coverage of the bad thing. It has been proven to work. Let's go to the last graphic here. Education experts say struggling schools need research-based literacy and math interventions to ensure all students have the basic skills to succeed. What a crazy thought. Examples of success include San Francisco's John Muir Elementary, which has piloted a math intervention program that has led to a more than 50% proficiency rate up from just 15% prior to adopting the coaching and student-led coursework. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh. We're talking about an elementary school. Can we please get back to teaching them the basic skills they need to be functioning human beings? And if you want to have debates about dismantling whiteness, whatever that means. You, I, okay. Am I incorrect in remembering TYT having used the term whiteness in the past. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm genuinely asking because I feel like right now they're pretending that they don't know what it means, but they've been doing this for over a decade. And I feel like I remember at some point, at least on a Kasparian, using the term correctly. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I, I don't have the best memory. And I'm talking about potentially years and years of, of talking points. But I feel like they that I feel like this new effort to pretend that they don't know what it means is insincere. But I could be wrong. I'm not trying to like bait out the answer there. I don't know. It just feels insincere. It's either way, the framing here is is ridiculous. Go ahead and do it in your college classes where you have full grown adults who can, you know, get into the nuances of these issues. This is bullshit, they both know what it means. Yeah, because like Anna with the birthing person thing, I never saw her engage with anyone reasonably criticizing her outrage at the comment. The idea that birthing person would be inclusive. Like, how do you accept the idea that trans men exist but not understand that birthing person is a term that includes trans men and, you know, women who can give birth and isn't just like pregnant women or whatever. But she never engaged with that, at least not that I saw, which makes me think that a lot of this is disingenuous. L sorry, little TYT video talking about whiteness. Jonathan Metzl is a researcher, he's an author, he's a doctor. He's professor and director of Center, the Center for uh, Medicine, Health and Society at Vanderbilt. But your book has a lot of stuff related to this issue that's also tied up with a lot of things I think that represent what America is going through right now, and maybe it's been going through for a long time, and that's uh, political identity or personal identity as reflected in politics. TYT, but not Jenker Anna. Yeah, but again, there's no excuse for them not knowing if they've been doing politics for this long. If it's been done on their network, though, where's the transcript? Is it not here? Here's one where it's actually Jenk and Anna. This week, General Milley's comments about oh, the need no. for the military to understand ideologies that they might not oh, themselves no. follow uh, went viral. A lot of people were impressive. Notice he never defined white rage, and we should know what it is. What people he has to know. Karl Marx. A couple of things as I is Jen Kanana here? Nipple paved the way for all of us to go there, but it's another sign that uh, our society. This isn't Jen Kanana. Why do you say Jen Kanana? Jen Kanana aren't here. Particularly, I think on the right. Still, though, this is on their platform. 
has just totally uh, lost its way. There's nothing classy, there's nothing sophisticated about what Tar Tucker Carlson has become. And even though classy and sophisticated were things that I know, Tucker is angry. Okay, like his, his biggest issue seems to be that this guy hasn't read about white supremacy, which I, I don't believe that he said he never has. And maybe he doesn't need to. Maybe he occasionally tunes into Tucker Carlson. Maybe he's getting all he needs to know about uh, white rage and white supremacy in America. Gosh, I'm very certain they've never used the term whites, uh, correctly used the term whiteness. I've watched them daily since 2017. Uh, that's the way you are, the way you are, Benjamin. Um, they should They should learn, you know? I feel like it's past time. I feel like they should learn that. Let's just finish this damn video. Doing this at an early age in elementary school, it is indoctrination. It's left wing indoctrination. And what it does is it provides an example and fodder for what conservatives have been complaining about for a long time. Left wing indoctrination in our schools. In this case, it's true. And it is not effective in teaching kids the basic skills they need to succeed in life. Yeah, last two things for me. One is stop being the caricatures that the right wing created. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that Tucker Carlson would do conspiracy theories about uh, when it didn't exist. And now you, what it's, it feels like they watch Tucker Carlson. They're like, "Oh, that's a good idea. Let's pretend to be the jackasses that that he uh, said we were." No, don't do that. And number two, as a non-white person, I'm deeply offended at the idea of math being white. Tears well in my eyes as I watch the famous pianist try to recall the songs he used to play. His old, frail hands glide across the keys, uncertain. His tempo is off. So a lot of times they phrase things as if like, oh, you don't need to learn that stuff. That traditional stuff is for white people. No, you morons. Okay. You know who invented math? It's the Arabs. Okay. From the Middle East. It's algebra because it's al-jabra. Okay. That's where it comes from. To say that, no, it's now a white thing is... The most weirdly racist thing I've ever heard against non-white people. So just please, none of this garbage. Teach real topics. All the topics, correct history, balance, for God's sake, balance, and an actual education. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it. I th thank you for your appreciation. That was, um, that was super cool. That was pretty cool, guys.